Hey guys, I am so, so very excited for today's video. I have loved Surat Beauty for so, so long and I am working with them on today's video. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be going through like a nude lip smoky eye look using a lot of my Surat Beauty favorites. And what they'll also be doing is creating a web page on their site featuring all of my favorites. I'm so excited. I am thrilled to be working with them. As you guys know, I have been a huge fan of Surat Beauty for a very, very long time. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in and we're gonna start with probably the one product that I've talked about the most ever since I started talking about Surat Beauty and that is their Dew Drop Foundation. So I have shades three and four here throughout the year. My skin kind of goes between these two shades, three being lighter, four being a little deeper. And I think, Right now, I think four is gonna work for me because I just came back from New York and I think I got a little bit of color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this up a little bit. And the Dew Drop Foundation has a very light serum like texture. So the packaging of the Dew Drop Foundation is very interesting. You have to turn it over and then there's a button on the underside here that you press and that basically releases the product. So I like to drop not too much of this foundation. I do feel like a little bit goes a long way, even though this does have a very light coverage, uh, but we're gonna start with that. You can see the thin quality of the foundation. So I'm just gonna pick some up with my finger and just dot some on my face here. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this foundation in terms of it being my all-time favorite. That has not changed. I absolutely love this foundation. I do like a lighter coverage foundation. I do like a lighter texture foundation, but what really, really is so beautiful about this foundation is its finish. So why don't I go ahead and apply this and you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. So again, this is shade number four. I'm gonna go in with the Surat foundation brush and just work this in. So I hope you guys can see how this foundation is perfecting the look of my skin without a ton of coverage, but instead using this really beautiful finish that I think kind of blurs the light so that my skin really looks very, very filtered. My skin looks soft, it looks smooth. I mean, it really perfects my skin, like I said, without just a lot of coverage and a lot of pigmentation. It's really quite magical. So I basically used all the foundation that I dropped onto the back of my hand, and that was it, that's all I needed. And I feel like my skin looks so smooth and filtered with just that little bit of amount. So that is the Dew Drop Foundation and why I love it so much and why it continues to be like one of my all-time favorite foundations. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Surreal Skin Concealer. I have this in the shade two, and this is the shade that works for me for I wanna say like nine months out of the year, but it may be a little bit too light for me again today because I just got a little bit of color while I was in New York City, but we're gonna give this a shot. I don't think I mind too much uh, like an under eye brightening situation, so this very well may work. But if you use me as a shade reference, I would say go with shade two. That's the one that's gonna work for you. You'll see how easily this stick concealer blends out. Isn't that beautiful? It's like invisible. Beautiful. I'm just gonna add a little bit more under my eye here and hopefully you can see the difference there. But it is so, so seamless. It has just a really, again, just like this very, very light texture and it just kind of melds with your skin. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't sink into fine lines. It wears really, really well throughout the day, just like this foundation. And this has been one of my favorite Surat products for a very long time. Cover up some of my sunspots here, soften those up, maybe add a little bit under my nose. I think the two works even though I'm a little bit tanner now. Okay, I happen to have dry skin, so I like to forego powder if I don't need it. And when I use the Dew Drop Foundation, I don't find that I need to powder it down. It sits on my skin beautifully, so I'm just gonna go ahead and forego powder. I'm gonna go straight into my cheek products, like the contour and the blush and the highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Grisol. This is a beautiful neutral toned contour. And I'm gonna go ahead and use 
the sculpting brush from Surat. It's the cheek brush that has an angle. And I'm just gonna apply some underneath my cheekbones. It's like the perfect tone. Bring it up my temples. And the level of pigmentation in these artistic blushes is the absolute best. They're, you know, it's not overly pigmented. You can just build them up really, really nicely, really evenly. I find these products just so, so easy to work with and they blend in like a dream. These powder products from Surat, the artistic line, so the blushes and the eyeshadows, they are, I would say technically like a powder product, but they go onto the skin and they just start to melt onto your skin so that they become like infused with your foundation, your powder, everything. Like they just are become like so seamless. Oh, they're just gorgeous. They just work beautifully and they blend out beautifully. You can see that I'm just creating this like shadow and there isn't really any sort of harsh edges or anything. Just gorgeous. So this is the contour and this is without. All right, so I think I've given myself a good enough shadow down there, kind of make the cheekbones pop a little bit. So next I'm gonna move over to blush and I've taken out Cherubic blush. So the Surat blushes come in like more of a matte sort of demi satin kind of finish. And then there are some blushes that have a little bit more of a sheen to them. This is one that has a little bit more of a sheen to it. And I just, really, really enjoy. As you guys know, I love a cheek product with a little bit of a sheen. So I'm gonna grab the cheek brush. So this is the one that has like a rounded domed top versus the sculpted brush. And I'm just gonna apply it right onto my cheeks. Isn't that so beautiful? This pink is so gorgeous. If you need like a slightly shimmery pink that goes with everything, mm. This is the one because it is such a neutral tone. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, where it's almost like a lilac. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. So I really, really love this particular shade for that reason. And I'm just gonna buff this out and you're gonna see how it melds in with the contour so beautifully. Isn't that stunning? So blush, no blush, obviously. <laughs> there, blush is applied. Oh, isn't that just the most perfect shade? Oh, I just love it so much. Okay, so that is Cherubique. Next, let's jump into highlights. So I've pulled out Oreal, and these are all considered artistic blushes. The Grisol Contour, the Cherubique Blush, and now this Oreal Highlight. Isn't that just stunning? So I've got the Surat Highlight Brush. I'm gonna go in, pick up just a little bit, I don't wanna to get too crazy. And I'm just gonna sweep that over my cheekbone, like so. I don't wanna to use too much because that Cherubic already had like that satin finish. So this just amps it up a little bit, but I don't wanna compete with it, you know? Oh, I love these products so much. All right, so done with the cheek. Doesn't that look so seamless, slightly glowy, a little glossy looking? Love it. Let's move on to eyebrows. So I have the Expressionist Brow Pencil in Raven. This is refillable the way much of like Surat's products, they're refillable or they're reusable like his palettes. So you can buy this cartridge separately and throw it into this pencil and it rolls up and down, which is really nice. Beautiful, sleek design. And then there is a spoolie at the other end. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in my brows. And this is one of my favorite brow pencils because look at how micro fine that point is. It's so incredible. It never seems to like dull down. It always seems to be at a micro fine point. All right. Brow pencil is applied. I'm wondering if I need any brow pomade. I love Surratt's brow pomade, but I'm not sure that I need it. Maybe a little bit, okay. I have the Surratt brow pomade in deep brown. Now, this brow pomade is a little bit looser than a brow gel. It's not quite as like kind of gooey and sticky the way a brow gel is. This one definitely is more like a pomade, 
as its name would suggest. I think you have to be a little bit more careful with these. And look at this applicator, it's so amazing. It's like a little brush. So I like to kind of get all the excess product off and then just brush it into the fronts of my brows. You can see it does a nice kind of soft hold and then brush over. So I'm just brushing gently through the hairs and then down. I do happen to have very long, unruly brow hairs. So this is a great, great product. And you can definitely feel it like holding your brows in place, but there's nothing like crunchy about it. It's a very nice kind of like malleable kind of product. It's really quite unique and one of his best. And I love the soft, but like firm hold that it gives my brows. All right, on to eyeshadow. So I have some of my favorites here. So we're gonna start with my all time favorite Surratt Beauty eyeshadow shade. This is Zibeline. And as you guys know, I love me a metallic taupe and this is quite literally the definition of a metallic taupe. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm pretty much just gonna put this all over my lid and then we'll add some dimension afterwards. So I'm going to use the classic eyeshadow brush from Surratt. I believe this is the medium size. And I'm just going to swipe that all over. This works beautifully as a one and done shadow too. Like if you just wanna throw this on and stop right there, you're good. And like what I was saying about the blushes, it goes for these eyeshadows too. They, you know, kind of start out like a powder. You pick them up like a powder. They look and behave like one. And then all of a sudden, they just sort of start to melt onto the lid. So they like kind of, and when I say melt, like, like they kind of like blend themselves like with your skin. So they just sort of like kind of naturally like seep onto your skin and you have this really soft, immediate like soft blowout effect. It's incredible. These shadows are incredible. All right, so there is Zibeline applied. I'm like tempted to stop here. You guys know how much I love a one and done shadow, but I do want to do something a little bit smokier and I do want to show you some of my other favorites. So Chocolat Noir is one of my faves. Look at this kind of cool tone brown with this slight metallic sheen to it. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna add this to my outer corners and I'm just taking the same eyeshadow brush and just enhancing this outer corner a bit. And I'm taking this Grande Smoky Eye Brush. These are probably one of the most interesting brushes from Surratt because they look like paint brushes, like watercolor brushes. So they're very, very soft. There isn't like a lot of, I don't wanna say control, but if you want like a real kind of detailed or like a strong placement of pigment, this is not the brush for you, but these are great for blending out. Or if you wanna apply like a really kind of light layer of color, these are wonderful, wonderful, really unique brushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work this Chocolat Noir out. You can see it just softens it just ever so slightly. Okay, so we just have a little bit of shadowing there from the Chocolat Noir. And then this shade is such a beautiful, interesting shade. So this one is called Doré Rose. It's like a golden rose. And when I first saw this shadow, I was like, oh, just looks like kind of a peach shimmery shade. But there's actually, and I hope this light picks it up, there's like a little bit of like a pinky, pinky shiftiness to it. So I just wanted to highlight the inner corner of my eyes with this shadow. And I'm actually taking the Surratt concealer brush here and just gonna add this to the tear duct area and then the inner portion of my lid. You may be able to see the rosiness more on my lid here. Okay, and now to finish off the look, I'm gonna take Brun Noir and use this as liner and really work it into the base of my lashes. All right, how do my eyes look? I love it. I love it. This Brun Noir is 
such a wonderful liner. Like if you're looking for a smokier look or something maybe just a little bit softer than like a liquid eyeliner or even like a cold pencil, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with the Surratt Releve Lash Curler. This was the very first product I purchased from Surratt and fell in love with the, the brand ever since. All right, and now I'm gonna use the Noir Lash Tint. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It has a bristleless wand, which just works so well for me. I always feel like with a big fluffy wand, I'm always getting mascara everywhere. So this works for me. And then the formula is outstanding because it lacquers each lash and it keeps my lashes curled. And that is no small feat for a mascara. Look how beautifully it coats like each lash without bristles. All right, so my eyes are done and I wanted to keep the focus on the eyes. So I'm just gonna use a gloss and the Surratt lip glosses are some of my favorites. They're called Lip Lusters. And I have two shades here. Let's see which one kind of goes with the mood that I'm in today. So here is Nudite and you can see this is a very light flesh tone, and it does have, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it does have little micro glitters in there. Really pretty, they're like gold toned flex. So that's Nudite, and then we have Au Naturel, and this one is like a, you know, like a your lips but better kind of tone. And this one also has little micro glitters in there, but I think they're a cooler tone. So I think Nudite is more the mood that I'm in, more of that kind of really light lip smokier eye situation. So let's try this one out. So these lip lusters from Surratt have a little bit of tack to them and it really helps with the longevity of these lip glosses. I do feel like they can last through like a drink or two, unlike most lip glosses, but it's not too bad. They're not like prohibitively sticky or anything like that. Just the right amount of tack. So there. There is Nudite. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this shade so much. All right, guys, that is it for my full face of Surratt Beauty using many of my favorites. I wouldn't be able to fit all of my Surratt Beauty favorites on my face. So these are just some highlights, but you guys have heard me talk about this brand for years now. I will leave links to everything down below in my description box. I do also have a 15% off code there at Surat Beauty. I'll list that down below my description box as well. And definitely don't forget to check out my page of favorites on the Surat Beauty site. Again, I will link that down below in my description box. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Big thank you to Surat Beauty for sponsoring this video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.